Hi everyone, it's Martin again. Uh, tonight I'm tying a, a mofo fleeing crab, a bonefish, stroke permit fly. It's just sort of American style pattern. Um, slight difference in the sort of leg setup. So I'm going to start uh, with a size 2 Gamakatsu S10S4H in the vise. Um, but you can use whatever hook you like, really. I mean, if you Usually if you check any of the books or that, they're all tied in like mustards or uh, just adjust my face here, sorry. Mustards or TM codes. Uh, and I'm starting, so uh, this is a size 2 S10 S4H um, or an S, which is very, very similar to an SL12 um, or any of the any of you who like gamma cats I do. Um, and I've run on some pink uh, Danville's flat wax nylon. And I'm going to tie in my blood eyes. So I've just got a pair of medium lead eyes. I'm just going to tie them right in. I'll figure them right in at the eye. Just run that thread them out to tighten up. There we go. And then the thread turns over the over the eyes and under the shank, and then some final wraps just between the shank and the eyes to tighten up those thread wraps and then I'll just come in here with a quick dab of super glue just to help keep everything in place so the next thing is to tie in the legs uh, and I've just got three strands of rubber leg it's natural rubber you could use cream or tan. Um, well, I mean, I'm I'm tying this fly in like, tan, but I mean, if you obviously if you were using, you could tie it in olive, you know, and just change it, change the colour of the legs to suit. So, I've tied the pad in, and I've taken three or four wraps, tight wraps, just to secure it at the midway point. Um. Just so that I can so that I can pull back in it without without moving the tie in, and then just holding it tight, run your thread back and touching turns. Uh, this keeps everything nice and even. If you if you leave gaps, like you, I don't know if you can see. It. So if you if you leave a gap, you'll get like a bump. Of com hard compressed rubber, right? And it's like almost impossible to let like, force that to go flat with the thread, because um, obviously the thread tension of the wraps at either side's pushing it up. You actually need to sort of build up over it, which could be a bit unsightly. I mean. You know, it's, and it will also be a weak point in your thread for the the body to bust. So I'm then going to invert the invert the fly. Um, the original was tied like a Dells Merkin with the the yarn on the top of the shank. But um, anytime I tie American style 
fly I like to tie this the the yarn I like to tie the yarn on the inside of the gap just to just to help make sure the fly rides hook point up. So I'm building a short a wee bumper um the pink thread just to add a little hot hot spot. Um that will still be quite clearly visible uh, after the body's tied in. And then I've got EP fibres here. The, I mean the original is uh, calls for sparkle yarn but um I'm just using EP. That's it's just a dead, it's just a good easy fibre to work with for crabs. And then I'm leaving the length long. I, I don't pre-cut. Well, I don't pre-cut that much um, when I'm tying American because if you leave this long end, it gives you a bit, a bit of something to work with, especially once you've got a few bunches tied in. Like when it comes to um, your figure eight wraps, it's a bit easier to manoeuvre the the bunch of fibres than if it's only an inch long. So I'll we'll take two, three wraps, right, in that direction, and then I'll just grab the, the, both the fibres, both sides of the fibres, and pull them tight, and then I'll take another wrap in the opposite direction. Right. And I'll take three. So that's that's tied in at sort of right angles. And then I'll just sweep it back. I'll just put a couple of a couple of wraps in front. And then I'll trim this length away. Leaving a bit. You know, leave a bit extra. So that you you can hold it to trim trim it later for the final trim. Then it's just the same again. I've just got a bunch of uh, so I've, the first bunch I tied in was bronze, and this is uh, tan. And you could tie it just a solid colour if you like. One, two, three. Pull that back. And the same thing, just hold on to the fibres until you get that first turn in. Two, three, and you can see there, I'm not really, like, I'm not struggling as much to get in between the two bunches there because I've got the long, the long piece. And just position it, make sure it sits as you like, and then pull it back, and a few locking turns in front. And the same again, just trim. I'm going to come in with another bunch, uh, the bronze this time again, just to keep the, the colours, keep the stripes of the different colours there, keep it vary, variegate it. Which is something I'm a great believer in. Um, variegated colours. Feel, I just feel it's much more natural, even though these are stripes, which I just I just feel that the the, the a solid colour is just something that you don't see in nature, or very rarely, you know. Especially invertebrates are usually sort of got a few different colours all about them. And you just continue in the body, same, just keep keep doing the same process.
ねもらってもらんねobviously as you approach the end of the bunch it becomes a bit a bit harder to um, use the, 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 the end to manipulate it but you still can right and we'll, I'll have just one more I can probably squeeze it in And then the same again, just some wraps to catch it and sort of secure it. And then just have a quick bit finish. And another. Always two. My salt water flies. So, you've now got this sort of oversized blob of EP fibers, and I like to just pull them up. So that I can, the, the, the ends are together. And I can trim both sides at once to make sure they're even. And I'll just, they'll just come in kind of level with the, the hook point and then trim at an angle. And then you've got something like that. If you think that's too big, you can trim it down, but I'll, I don't mind that. And the, the, the striping is not just so like, clear banding anyway, so it's. You know, you, the fibre the fiber sort of mix into each other and it gives you a nice sort of blended colour to an extent anyway. So, the last thing really is just um, to separate these legs. Just, and then... This last piece, there we go. So that's the legs separated. And I'm just going to come in with a, a brown marker. Put them kind of tight and just. Give them some stripes. They're a bit close, but. We'll go right, and then I'll give him another one, and then uh, orange, or an orange uh, tip to the, the leg. Same again. I'll just pull it kind of tight and. Orange tip. And then just trim the legs and the length of the body. And there you have it. A bit heavy handed with that there, but that's the uh, fleeing crab. The last thing is just to come in with some head cement. A super glue just at these figure eights. Give it a good dabbing, turn it over, run some super glue onto the thread here just for durability and over the wraps at the dumbbells. And that's it.
I hope you liked that. If you did, or if you didn't, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.